What's going on everyone? Welcome to the channel. Today I have some tips and tricks on how to make you extremely better at defense at this game. Apparently nobody knows this, but I really shouldn't be surprised because there's no tutorial by EA. But yes, today I'm going to teach you how to manually switch to players on defense, as well as how to always have the last man back and how to always control the player in front of the net. This will work on skill stick and total control. Hybrid's a little bit different, but I can tell you that as well. And it's going to work for PlayStation and for Xbox. Now I'm playing on skill stick, so I'm going to go ahead and just show you something. And please, if you guys have never done this, please go through the controls and learn everything. Look and see what's different for you. Um, I will absolutely no problem help you guys if you want in the future with other stuff. If you want me to make a video on like how to control your goalie or pull your goalie without having to press pause. If you're on hybrid, I can teach you how to protect the puck because it doesn't tell you anywhere in this game. If you guys want to see more tips and tricks or, or just need some help with anything, one, leave a comment down below. If you have any questions, I can try and help you. And two, I can just make a video, hopefully explaining everything you might want to know. Now, when looking in the defense controls, we can see a couple different things here, but we want to highlight manual switch player, hold R2 and move the right stick, and manual switch player, last man back by holding R2 and pressing in R3. I don't know why they don't teach you any of that, but it's there. Super quickly, this will work both on skill stick and total control. And when I'm saying R2, I mean the right trigger in the back of the PlayStation or the Xbox controller. And when I'm saying the right stick, I mean moving the stick, right? And then when I say R3, it's pushing the stick in. Now, if you're playing hybrid, you're going to be doing things a little bit differently. I'll get into that afterwards. Now, the thing is, like, I thought a lot of people knew this, and I did a poll on Twitter, and not really anyone knew this, actually. Like, 75% of people did not know this. So, yeah, if you hold... R2, when you press R3, you'll always get the player in front of the net. Jeff Petrie, I got control of him. Even though the puck was closer to somebody else, I got the player in front of the net. If I want to do this on defense and I just want to swap to Petrie, I can do that as well by aiming the right stick. I can get control of anyone I want just by aiming the right stick and holding R2. All right, so we're playing defense here. Now, I have Andrew Kopp. I really just want to take control of Sherratt. So I'm holding R2. We have Sherratt in front of the net now to help stop any offensive chance that may happen. We can do this every single time just by holding R2 and pressing R3. Uh, if you're on Xbox, I'll be holding the right trigger and then pressing in the right stick. Um, let's show it again. So I have Cop here. Petrie is closest to the puck, but if I hold R2, we take control of Sherrod. Sherrod can drop into the slot and stop any of the rush that may be happening towards the net. One more time, I have Sherrod here. Let's swap over to the person closest to the net. We have David Perron. David Perron can stop... D Dylan Larkin, I guess, by blocking it like that. I didn't mean to do that, but hey, I'll take it. Your rush defense will improve drastically by doing this, by the way, because being able to swap to whoever you want, look, I'm just pressing R2. This is what happens. You just press R2, you only get the two players closest to the puck. If you hold R2 and press R3, now I have Ben Sherratt. Bang, I have the puck. Goodbye. Okay, so in this scenario here, I'm going to show you an example of manual player switching. I'm controlling Andrew Kopp. I'm going to switch from Cop to Sherratt to Petrie, back to Cop, back to Sherratt, back to Cop. Easily, within three seconds, I can do this. All I have to do is hold R2 and flick the stick where I want to go. So I have Cop, now I'm Sherratt, now I'm Petrie, now I'm Cop, now I'm Sherratt, now I'm back to Cop, now I'm Petrie, Sherratt, Cop, Sherratt, Cop, Petrie, Sherratt. I, I, I can manually play or switch wherever I want to go by holding R2, and let's do it again, holding R2 and moving the right stick. I'm Cop, I really want to be Petrie. Now I want to be Sherratt. Let's go be Cop again. Let's be, uh, let's be Petrie. We have Petrie in the middle here. Awesome. Cool. And let's dump the puck again. And we'll do this one more time. So I am Andrew Cop. I want to be Petrie. I want to be Sherratt. I want to be Cop again. I want to be Petrie. Sure. Trying to like keep up with the names of where they are is actually harder than I thought it would be. But you can see what I'm doing here, right? It's not super complicated. You hold the right trigger. You aim the right stick where you want to be. Look at how fast I can play or switch around whoever I want. It's, it's pretty simple, and once you get the hang of it, it will really drastically change the way you play defense and play this game. You hold the stick, and then you just flick in the direction of that player. I want to be Sherratt, so I move the stick where Sherratt would be. I want to be Comfort again, back to the top, so I move the stick to the top. I want to be Petrie, I move it to the right. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. Like the ability to have the last player back at all times is absolutely huge to help you stop cross creases and stop the chances in front of the net. Now, when you're just playing like this and you just want to control the last man back, again, hold R2 and press the stick and you'll get control of who you need to. Always the last man back. Hold R2. I have Ben Sherratt. 
Uh, if I do it again and I just want to get Petrie, no matter what, I will get Petrie there instead of going for Raymond, who was closer to the puck, or whoever that was, sorry, it was Cop. So I would have had Cop instead because he was closer to the puck, but if I hold R2 and press in R3, I don't have to worry about that. I can get the last man back to help me play defense. Let's do it one more time here. So let's get, uh, let's get Sherratt because he's probably going to try and come across. So now we have Sherratt, Sherratt, I almost said, but... Yes, I got who I wanted, and there we go. And one more time, just for fun, so that way you guys know I'm not lying. All you need to do is, uh, let, well, okay, he lost the, okay. The AI is as good as ever in this game. Here comes Dylan Larkin. I have, uh, Jeff Petrie here. Let's get Sherratt with the puck. Or in the middle of the ice, able to stop to bring it, or at least get in the way, or whatever. It's Ben Sherratt. I'm not expecting too much. Don't get me wrong. I didn't make the play because one, I was Ben Sherratt. Two, I suck at this game. But it gave me the opportunity to stop the pass or stop the shot that was coming in by manually selecting the player in front of the net. Now, the thing is with hybrid, it's kind of tricky because you're pressing X to pass. But the player switch, you can still press R2, the player switch. So if you want to do it like this, you can, right? This is still a thing. This is still something you can do. But if you are holding X, you can actually do what you want to do here as well by holding X and going back and forth. But you would have to take your hand off the left stick in order to do it. It's not nearly as effective. My tip for hybrid players is learn to player switch using R2. It will make things a million times easier for you. And you'll be able to use the R3 trick as well to get the last man back and first player in front of the net. Now guys, this is a screen and this is a section I highly suggest you take a look at. If you are learning how to play this game, if you want to become a better player, learn the controls of the game. Yeah, manual player switching is in here, right there. You can see it. But other than that, there's a lot of really interesting things. Like my favorite one is the tie up the stick button. If you hold X in front of the net and someone's going for a 1T or a cross crease, you can tie up their stick so that they won't get their stick on the puck. Nobody seems to know about this. There's a lot of really good, interesting things in here that EA does not teach you how to do. I highly suggest you hop into the controller section learn everything, but of course, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll do my best to answer them. At no point will I ever say that I'm great at this game, but I've played the game long enough, almost 25 years now, where I pretty much know everything I need to know about the controls of this game. I'm just not very good. I suck. I'm old. Now, I'm 29. I know that's not old, but like, you look at like the 16 to 18 year olds who are playing this game and absolutely dominating. It makes sense. I have old thumbs. Hopefully I was able to help you out a little bit in this video. If I did, leave a like on it. And again, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. I'll do my best to answer them. But so many people do not know about this. I thought I had to make a video because like, how could you not do that? Like, this is a big part of the game. There's so much about this game that people just don't seem to know. So um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, please leave them. And if you want to see me do a video on other things that I think you might need to know, please let me know and I'll do it. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Stay frosty.